Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, it's another video. I know I have the same outfit on, but you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it. It's not about the outfits, okay? You came here to see what I'm talking about anyway. Today is another episode of what I wore this week. I think I'm gonna post this on a Sunday now. I'm gonna change the timing, so I'll put it on a Sunday instead of a Monday. So yeah, that'll kind of round off the week. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different because a lot of you said to me, you know, um, we want to know what you wear in the nighttime as well. Because I'm like, okay. So I'm going to bring you the day version and the night version. So this video might be a little bit longer. But grab a snack and grab a drink. And let your girls get talking. Let me tell you what I wore this week and how I felt and all that good stuff. So keep on watching. Now, I don't know which day what, but I know I pulled them out and I put them aside. But Grand Soir from MFK. I went out that day. I had to go to the Apple store because my Apple watch was acting up. It, it was a long story, okay? Brand new watch, acting up. So I went and I'm like, okay, it's a nice mall. And it's like, you know, let me go sniffing and all that. So I'll dress up and I'm like, I'm feeling myself. I'm like, girl, you need to pull out Grand Soir. It was cold and I'm like, mm -hmm, yes, baby. I put this to my head. I'm like, yo, 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 you're coming home. You're going out with me. So this is amber, vanilla, tonka bean, and lavender. This is unisex a man smells incredible with this but i have to say not tooting my own horn i smell damn good listen i smelled myself all day long i got compliments this thing is strong but i still sprayed a lot and i have a travel size in it too so but i didn't top up i didn't need to guys this was buzzing it was kicking i smelled incredible especially out in the cold grand soir was hitting it okay it was hitting it in the night, should I do the night version? Okay, we're going from the day to the night. One night I wore, I can't remember which night, but girlies. I always talk about this and I always say this is my bedtime scent. I need the 100 ml. This is the Kayali and this is the Musk. I think this is so sexy. It's so understated. It's just that perfect scent. For when you come out the shower you want to wind down you don't want something too strong but you want something comforting and just be like so good to me oh this musk is so beautiful i didn't think i was going to love this so much i need to buy the 100 ml but it's always sold out i don't even think sephora carry the 100 ml i might have to order it from the huda beauty website because this deserves 100 ml i need to keep one in my collection and i need to keep one in my nightstand where i have all my nighttime fragrances this has been downstairs and i've been neglecting it but i did wear it and i'm like oh my god i need 100 ml so as soon as, as soon as huda's website have like a discount or something going on i'm going to order the 100 ml hopefully they still have it so this is musk uh 12 bro glasses glasses musk 12 and this was so beautiful next day i wore i didn't plan to wear this but I saw it and I'm like, bro, what? Sometimes I, I'm just so impulsive because I come downstairs and I sniff, sniff, sniff. I plan to wear something in my head when I'm showering. I'm like, okay, I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear that. Or sometimes I'm at work and I'm like, okay, I'm going to home, take a shower and I'm going to pull this out. I haven't worn it in so long. I come home, I come down here and it's a shit show because I'll be putting up, I'll be grabbing stuff that I had no intentions of wearing because when you pull that cap off, game over. And that happened with Kali Sparkling Lychee. Guys, this is so freaking good. I know it's a summer scent, but I think I could smell this thing on me all the time. I sprayed this all on my clothes. It smelled incredible. I'm like, oh my God, you smell so good. The travel size of this that I had, it's almost done. I have that in my bag. And I'd be like, Ch -ch -ch. and sometimes I meet friends or I'm like, oh, try this. Ch -ch -ch. I'd be like, listen, I think I'm the perfume fairy. Anyway, so I had this on and then I'm like looking through and I'm like, oh, look, another lychee one. And I'm like, girl, I sprayed this on top of this. So I'll be lychee in. Two different lychees, but I smell so good. But I was smelling the Kaylee more. I don't know, probably I sprayed more of this. I didn't really spray much of this, but I really like this next one too. It's different. And I think you should have both. But yeah, so this is what I wear. What I wear. What I wore. Let me speak proper. What I wore. And I smelled so good. This was, this was given, okay? And then, oh, sorry. In the nighttime, again, I try not to wear heavy scents in the night. I used to be testing out heavy fragrances and I'll be choking on my husband and he keeps getting mad that he can't sleep. So I tried to get softer scents. And 
This one I haven't worn in a hot minute and I think this is a delicate, very feminine scent and I wore this. And it was so pretty, like so pretty. This fragrance is very feminine. This pomegranate, just lemon, green apple, the rose. The rose is so delicate. I feel like there's some puny in this as well, but it doesn't lift. They say geranium. Uh, there's some whisk, just yet, whatever that is, <laughs> and jasmine. This is such a beautiful scent. This is the closest thing that back in the day, the day that my cell, cell of my age, <laughs> there was this fragrance from Gilly Cantonelle called Flowers. It was a skinny bottle and the top was a kind of green like a flower and I can't find that. I've been looking for that. That was like a scent my husband got me when we were dating and it was like, I loved it. And yeah, so this one is the only one that reminds me of that. And every time I wear this, he looks at me because he gets that, but he remembers, it triggers a scent memory. So this was so beautiful and so delicate and so soft. If you haven't tried this, this is a really beautiful scent. More for the spring summer, but I was going to bed and I wanted something nice and light and airy, but sexy at the same time. So yeah, this is blueberry blush, my blueberry blush or whatever you call it. Up next, the next day, what did I wear? Oh, we had like, we went through some really extreme cold weather last week and remember I told you I was testing out Overture Woman and I said I might you know your girl tested it out again and guess what happened a bottle ended up in my hands <laughs> I wore this after that time I got the bottle and I actually sprayed from the bottle and I don't know if that made such a difference holy smoke I went in with about 10 sprays of this and I think that was too much for this because this shit is a beast. And that it was so cold, it was so cool. I remember calling my girl Jessica when I, I'm like, girl, it's so cold here and guess what? I wore Overture Woman and it was gorgeous. I said, wow, it happened. At that moment, I fell in love with the fragrance. That extreme cold with this was like, whoa, it was like, Oh my God, I fell in love with this fragrance. It smelled incredible in the cold and it projected. I smelled this fragrance all day long. It lasted so long and usually I go on Nosmic. I didn't, I kept getting wafts of it. I'm like, ooh, that booziness, that fruits, that it was gorgeous. So sometimes you have to keep playing with things to fall in love and this one was not love at first sniff but I fell deep in love with her and this is Overture from Amage she good it had to go in the extreme cold for it to click okay it had to click so nighttime I wore this fragrance because I love sandalwood and this is Piano Santal I used to love going to bed with this I had it upstairs and then I moved it to my collection so now when I come out of the shower, it's not like I'm grabbing it all the time. This is a milky, leptonic, woody sandalwood. It's creamy, it's delicate, it's sexy, it's intoxicating, it's not too much, it's just right. Sometimes you just want that understated sexiness and this is that. It smells beautiful. I love wearing this to go to bed because to me, I think it's so comforting. It's not loud. She's not doing too much, but it just does something to me. It's gorgeous. So I wore Piano Santal to bed and I was just feeling myself, okay? Up next, okay, what did I wear? What, oh, girl. Now, Hez Performs sent me a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to test all at once because that kind of overwhelms me. I'm like, Ugh. so I bought, got this um, cafe, what is it? Gabra. I had to use translation to pronounce this before. And I didn't, so I can't remember how to say it. But this one, some French thing. Okay, cafe. Okay, okay. Not gonna embarrass myself. Anyways, listen, this video, I try to be as casual as possible. It's not no foo foo lala thing. It's just me being myself. So this is Hes Parfums, and this is the cafe, and the other word that I can't pronounce. Guys, this smells so good, like so good. Oh, it's coffee. I think there's, um, what's, what, what's the note for this? I'm gonna pull, oh my God. Guys, this, oh. Listen, if you love coffee, you're gonna love this. This has coffee, cinnamon, 
brown sugar, iris vanilla. It has chocolate, sandalwood, and oud. This smells delicious. This is a very delicious gourmand. The coffee is not too much. It's not overpowering. It gets hit with a little bit of chocolate and that vanilla and has a nice little bed of woodiness. This is nice. This is really nice. I really enjoyed this one. And yeah, I wore this and it, it lasted a good amount of hours. So yeah, this is coffee. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, cafe, whatever. Anyway, heads for fans. Guys, check them out. I have so much more from them. I'm, I'm testing them out one by one and like you know i'll bring them here and there so this is cafe yeah anyways in the night time a girl was feeling all bougie i'm like hmm. i haven't worn this in a hot minute so i pulled out the new roja elixir this is the pretty pink this is a newer collection to me this is stronger than the other one i just find so this is the epitome i always say it is of femininity it's so pretty, it's soft, it's delicate, it's perfect to go to bed. Guys, this um, Elixir, this is a new one, I absolutely love it. Now, I wear this during the day too, but it's so cold here, to me this is a spring summertime scent. Or, you know, so I, I like to wear it to go to bed, cause you know, the temperature is nice, you're under your blanket, you have on your snuggly little thing, you're getting a little hug up, you know? So yeah, this one, so beautiful, so beautiful. So this is what I wore in the nighttime. The next day, I got this package from Sora Dora. And I'm like, you know, I had to bust it open and wear it because uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this for so long. Everybody got it except me. So now I finally got it. And this is Jani, Jani, baby, she smells so good. First of all, this is my first white bottle from Sora Dora absolutely gorgeous now you'll see this again in a haul but i just want to tell you what i wear because your girl couldn't wait <laughs> and i had to wear it let me give you the notes hold on are you ready for this this has puff pastry there's cinnamon there's vanilla apricots almonds baked apple caramel nutty notes osmanthus plum peach and white musk this smells so good. Like, so, so good. When I, let me find some. When I wear this, oh, I miss my whole hand. Hmm. Oh, that, it's very almond-y. You get the caramel. There's a nuttiness. But when this starts drying down, the pastry, that puff pastry, I don't know how they did it, but you can naturally smell the pastry in this. This is well crafted. Honestly, I don't know how they, these perfumers do these things, but it's like if you're transported to that, it's like it has texture, it has smell, you feel like you're tasting it at one point. This is so beautiful. You have to love gourmands to love this, right? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Shani is gorgeous. Now I got a sample of mallow and I want it so bad. That orange blossom, the mel, anyway, I'll tell you about mallow another time. Oh my goodness. So this is Jeanne from Soradora. I do have a discount code for this. Check my description, but baby, I waited long for her, but she was worth to wait. Absolutely gorgeous. Hmm. Okay, the nighttime, what did I wear? What did I wear? What did I wear? Girl, what did you wear? Oh, yeah. Well, another one I was testing out. And um, this one was strong to go to bed, but I did it anyway. And this is Banana Banshee from Hess Perfumes again. So I'll be like, I want to smell like banana. This smelled, oh God, I need more. I can't, I can't, I can't be smelling it because I've been sprinting from other videos. Your girl smell like a bomb. Okay, let me give you the notes of this. This has notes of banana, lemon, in the mid, we have cinnamon, caramel, chocolate. And in the base, we have brown sugar, bread, vanilla, and sandalwood. Listen, you're getting the whole banana here. The whole banana bread. Mm. 
but it doesn't smell absolutely foody. Even though it have all these gourmand notes, the way they blended it, it still smells like perfume. This to me very, is very spicy. Now, yes, it has cinnamon, but to me, I feel there's nutmeg and something else in it. It has more spice than cinnamon. I get some more spices. This smells really nice. It's a beautiful gourmand. It's very comforting. This one, I would say, I think I will pull for it more in the colder weather than the heat, because I don't know, this might choke me out. But this smelled so beautiful, so, so beautiful. So yeah, I wore this and it was good. Banana Banshee, this is one of my favorites from them too. It smells really, really nice. So if you're looking for a nice banana gourmand scent that doesn't smell extremely, I mean, it is gourmand, it is foody. Don't think I'm not saying that. But it's wearable where you not feel like you're walking around with a banana bread under your arm or something. You know what I mean? It smells like perfume at the same time. It smells really delicious. So yeah, so I wore this. And I smell delicious. Okay, delicious. Up next, I wore. Guys, when I tell you this was divine, this is Tenoir 29 from Le Labo. Guys, I love this. I need a new bottle. Watch where it is. I need a new bottle of this. This is my first love from the Labo. I love Santal 33, but this just hits different. I wore this and I was I went running some errands. I had to go to the jewelry store because I had to get my rings clean and you know that insurance thing where they check it to make sure all the diamonds, whatever. So anyway, I'm standing in um, People's and it's a jewelry store called People's and you know, the lady is doing her thing, typing in the computer, checking my ring and all that. And she's like, oh my God, you smell so good. I'm like, oh, thank you. Guys, it was this. It was this. I went to another store and she's like, oh my goodness, is that you? I'm like, girlies. This is such a captivating scent. Guys, just sample this. I know the lab was very expensive. Just sample it. I told you the story many times. I went in to buy Santel 33 many years ago and this was the one I walked out with first. I went to my car to leave and my daughter's like, mom, go back for Santel 33. She was little at that time. And the little girl would be like, mom, go back for Santel 33 because I walked out with this alone. And I left my car, went back in the store and let the girl make Santel 33. That was like four years ago. It has fig. And I'm not a big fan of fig, but this, it has bay leaf, bergamot. It has, um, cedar vetiver musk tobacco and hay no there's no tea in this so this has notes of fig bay leaf bergamot cedar vetiver musk and tobacco this is incredible it'll last so long okcha had a do for this and they stopped making it and i'm so mad i wish they would because that one i used to wear all the time because it had amazing longevity it smelled just like this and i was like saving my coins but now they don't have it so i'm back to this one i'm like i love it i love it i love it i love it guys get your nose on this one this one was incredible the last week was so cool your girl was like she was on a gourmand kick so i pull out lemon tart yes lemon tart is lemony okay it's very lemony mm. guys this is so sweet and so realistic when i spray this I'm just transported to me as a child making cake with my mom. I always say it's like that regular vanilla cake, but when you grate the lemon zest and the lemon in the batter, how it's so sweet. Like when you're mixing it and it's raw, to me it's sweeter than when you actually cook it. That's just my opinion and that's what I get. It's so realistic. It's so sweet. It's so, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Now this one doesn't last so long. So when I wore this, like after four hours or so, I topped up. Probably I was still smelling it, but I just wanted to get that fresh blast of this again. It is so good, like so good. If you love lemon, if you like gourmands, you definitely need to try this. And this house, they're very, very affordable. So yeah, lemon tart, oh my God. Guys, this is so nice. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, so I wore that. In the nighttime, I had gotten a package from Maximum Fragrances. Now, I did a haul that will come before this video, so you would have seen it. It's a discount website. 
and I got this Middle Eastern one that I wanted to. I was so excited to wear it and I knew it would be perfect to go to bed and it wasn't going to choke my husband out and piss him off. And guys, this is uh, <laughs> Mora. And this is um, Mora what boy? Gosh, I can't remember. The box is somewhere. This thing. This smells so pretty. Like, so pretty. It's long lasting. It's feminine. It's delicate. It's rose. It's musk but it's not too heavy, it's not overwhelming, it's just soft and gentle and perfect. I wore this to go to bed and I smelled divine. Guys, it was so beautiful, it wasn't too much, it was just so pretty, that pink, young, juicy rose, but it's very powdery at the same time and the musk and in the base just a little bit of patchouli, oh, this, is worth it. I wore this and I smell divine. D freaking vine. Anyways, guys, that's all that I wore this week. I probably was testing out some other stuff, but listen, listen. Shh, we go get into all of that. So these are the major things that I wore. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what did you wear this week? What did you pull out? As I said, last week was extremely cold here in Canada. It just started to warm up a little bit, which is just above zero. Guys, Canada, winter ain't no joke. You people in the States, trust me. You ain't no, like I went to New York last year in January and I wasn't even wearing a jacket. We're like, what kind of jokey ass winter is this? I left with my freaking huge, heavy massage jacket. I was freezing and I went there and I wasn't wearing no jacket. Like, bruh, Canada winter ain't no joke. Anyway, guys, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you wore. And if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that button on your way out. And until next video, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.